taking that further step to say where, what's not working, um, what went wrong, what were our mistakes. Um, that's the kind of fearlessness that we need to have in, in government, in politics, in business, in, uh, in life. I um, decided I was going to go to Howard University Law School. Uh, turns out I was the first white man to graduate there. But my wife joined my mother and my father in, and a lot of people I knew, um, sort of strongly opposing to, that I do it. And uh, I don't think in many cases I've uh, uh, had much uh, fearlessness in, in uh, the normal sense. Uh, somewhere along the way, I got the uh, watchword uh, said to be essentially what Socrates said, follow the question where it leads. And, and, and that means that you need to pick the right question, but you must have the courage to really see where it leads. Oh, I, I, I think whether it's a political campaign or a social innovation or I, I've never started a business, a business. Uh, you ought to be alert to following the question where it leads, and that means really looking at things as they are and, and, and having the uh, courage and clarity to, to see what they are even if you don't like what you're going to see and, and, and then figure out what the next step is. But it's, it's, it's a constant process of uh, the steps at best following the question and, and then pick the big questions, the questions that seem most important uh, and see where they lead. Fulfilling the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence promise of justice and for all, um, I think was an idea that very early in my life I realized I loved. And I think it's a little bit like a love affair, you, a really a long lasting love affair. And uh, out of that comes the inspiration to uh, you know, see what you can do with that love.